Hi guys, my name is Andrea and I make Coin Real Lifestyle videos. Today's video is gonna be this trend that everyone's been hopping on. I thought it would be really, really cool to do something with that, my own variation of it. It is the iOS 14 customization trend. I don't wanna get too technical in this video, so if that's all you're looking for, just comment down below with a question and I will explain to you everything. But I don't want my video to be technical because everyone's already been doing that, so I feel like most people already know technical parts. I just want to come with the aesthetic idea. Before we get started, this amazing phone case, I got it from a small business which I'm going to be leaving on the screen. If you want to purchase anything from them, it's not a sponsored ad or anything like that, it's just a brand that I love. It is a black owned small business, so if you want to support a minority in this trying times of the <laughs> pandemic, just um, check out the Instagram, I'm gonna be leaving it somewhere on the screen, so you have the name there. And yeah, let's get started. So, my own idea, as soon as iOS 14 came out, was to do a Hello Kitty or Sanrio themed screen with the widgets and everything. So, to get that, I'm gonna show you exactly what I chose, and maybe this will be inspiration for you as well, to get something similar. So for my background image, I got this really nice picture of my melody. Usually I get my pictures from Tumblr, sometimes Pinterest, but mostly Tumblr. So I have customized the widgets as well as the shortcuts in a really, really nice way. I'm so proud of it. And I'm gonna show you the two pages that I did. The first page looks like this. So I got the calendar widget and I have customized it to be pink. The app to do that is called Widgetsmith. I think there are other apps as well. And initially I wanted to change the fonts of all the text for the shortcuts, like all the names, but I changed my mind. But I'm gonna leave the website on the screen for how you can do that if you want to change the fonts because it's a really, really nice idea. And for the shortcuts, I went with images mostly from Google, Tumblr and Pinterest, but I know there is a feature on the app called Canva, which is also something that you can use for thumbnails, but you can use that feature to customize logos. It doesn't work with all the possible logos, but it works with like the big ones like Facebook, Instagram. So you can use that app as well if you want to create a logo with a certain color that you maybe cannot find online or something like that. But yeah, I went with the Hello Kitty who is waving to do my messages because I thought that would be like really, really cute. Like when you get a message, it's like someone's waving at you. I got this very really nice vintage looking camera in pink for my camera app. I got a folder that is smiling for my photos and then for Facebook and Tumblr and Instagram I kind of like just found variations of the normal logos that they have as well as for Snapchat and YouTube and YouTube Studio and Facebook Messenger is an actual messenger dove which is really cool that I could find something like that in pink. For my notes app I got an icon of a cover of a book of shadows, which is in witchcraft what we use to write spells and all that, like that. Like the pentagram is not a satanist symbol, it's just the five elements. So that's why we use it on the cover of the book of shadows. And for my reminders, I just got this really, really cute picture of my melody. For settings, I got strawberries because obviously my melody has strawberries in that picture from before. So it goes with that. For the app store, I got a really cute bouquet of flowers. Spotify is just a pair of earphones. Oh well, headphones rather, they are smiling. And then the Arcana is like a really cool mobile game. I've talked about it before in other videos. I just got like tarot cards, but in pink, so it goes with everything. And then at the bottom of the page, uh, the shortcuts are just um, for the option to call people. I just put it like as this really nice bunny that I found online. And then uh, it's obviously Safari, the compass from Safari, but in a different color. And the iTunes music and WhatsApp with the same logo, but in pink. And then I decided to get a second page as well because I wanted to use more of the widgets. So these are the like essential but kind of less essential apps, but I still use them a lot. So I got these three widgets with um, my melody and Koromi and then my melody as well, Alone and Hello Kitty. And then I put the time. I really like this widget all from Widgetsmith that tells you the time because it doesn't say the exact time, it approximates it by 5 minutes so if it's like 8 past it will put 10 past and I like that because it just for simplicity reasons if you look at that someone's asking you what time is it you can just do that instead of 
buttering still, I don't know, 22 too. You just say 22. <laughs> so yeah, I got the um, calculator because I use that a lot to do my own just finances and everything because I'm self-employed. So it's always different. So it's just easy to have it handy here. And um, I got the clock to set my alarms because I set like 10,000 alarms in the morning. I got the maps just because the same thing. I'm self-employed so I'm always going to different places to work. So it's good to like know where I'm going. And the Santander banking app. That's obviously my banking app. I just got like a piggy bank because I thought that would be like really cute to get like a pink piggy bank. For Lightroom, I got like a little light bulb. This is what I use for editing uh, on my Instagram. It's Lightroom and then Insta size. My YouTube thumbnails, I edit them from my laptop, so I don't have anything like that. But I know Canva is really good and I use that among like a lot of others. If you want a video on how to edit YouTube thumbnails, just let me know and I can make that as well. For Insta size, I just use like a plane because I used to edit a lot of travel photos, so I feel like an airplane would go like really well with that. And then I got my two apps for buses because I don't drive as of right now, so I need to know the times of the buses. So yeah, I just feel like that is really, really cool. Something that I don't like about this is it's not even the shortcuts. Um, people are complaining about how the shortcuts, when you open them, they take you to the shortcuts app and then they take you to the actual app. So if you open Messenger, it opens shortcuts and then Messenger. So people have been complaining about that. But I don't mind that. The only thing that I mind is that... Um, you don't see notifications, like the number of them displayed next to the app, you don't see that. So that bothers me because I don't know how many notifications I have. I would like to know when I wake up if I have a lot of Instagram messages or whatever so I can just know how to prepare myself to respond to all of them. And it doesn't have that. So that's the only thing that bothers me with the shortcuts. So because of that, for simplicity's sake, my fourth page on my phone is just the normal apps with their own icons. So I can see notifications. I don't really use that page. I just use it in the morning pretty much when I wake up and at night before I go to sleep just to see if I have any notifications at all. One thing that I forgot to say in the main video is that if you want your shortcuts to be more accessible and easier to read and just easier to sort through, what I did was color coordinate my shortcuts with the colors that the main apps would have if they didn't have a shortcut. If that makes sense. So for example, my YouTube um, shortcut it's color coordinated in red, my Facebook one is blue, and so on and so forth, just for simplicity's sake, so I can quickly go through them if I need to change one of the shortcuts, I will just look for the color, and it's easier than to read all of them. I hope that this has been a good idea, maybe it inspired you to get a nice customization for iOS 14, because I've seen a lot of just, um, simple, neutral color, autumn themed, but not really that much of the vibrant pink, really cute, which is more of my aesthetic, personally. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below with what theme you used for your iOS 14 customization, if you have one, and subscribe to my channel for just anything, commentary, lifestyle, just give me ideas, I will probably make it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ever since the day that you